It only makes sense to start the series by answering a common question. What is Adobe Edge Animate? The generally accepted answer is, Animate is a tool available to motion graphics artists, web designers, and web developers for creating motion and interaction projects in the emerging HTML5 universe. As the web moves from its traditional desktop medium, your computer, into a multi-screen environment where the same content is consumed on everything from the smartphone in your pocket, the tablet in your computer bag, to information screens in taxis or your desktop computer, there needs to be a common denominator that delivers that content and allows it to quickly load into these devices. With the plethora of competing operating systems and devices in an increasingly fragmented market, the HTML5 standard quietly took hold as designers and developers realized the web was common to all of these devices. Around the same time, Adobe started looking at a solution that used HTML5, CSS3, and JavaScript, or as they called it, the expressive web, to deliver motion and interactive experiences that were consistent across devices regardless of operating system or platform, which is exactly where Animate fits in. Animate can be used by web and graphic designers to create interactive banner ads, add motion to existing content in a web page, as well as create content for use in iBooks and DPS projects. For developers, the ability to add custom code to an Edge project means designers and developers can team up to create some rather compelling and deeply interactive projects with a reliance on custom code. Rather than simply launch the application, Adobe decided that it would develop the product and let the community kick the tires and critique the app during the entire development process. The process started with a bare-bones release in August of 2011, and at roughly the rate of a new revision every six weeks, the application, based on user input, has moved from the ability to move pixels from one side of the screen to the other to the current version, which features a completely revamped timeline, scripting, a library, reusable symbols, responsive web design, the ability to use web font technology, and best of all, it works on all modern browsers regardless of platform. Along the way, a few hundred thousand copies of the application have been downloaded, and the resulting work has been, to say the least, stunning. As part of the Creative Cloud, this pace of change and improvement will not stop. As you start finding new uses for Animate, Adobe will keep pace and constantly update and improve Animate. Though it won't be at the pace of an update every six weeks, the cloud will quietly update your copy of Animate to the latest version, which keeps you current with the application. To give you an idea of how far Animate has come, let's take a look at a couple of examples of what users have created with Animate. In this example, which you've been watching, using the first release of Edge, Dave Nibley at Rain Interactive created a whimsical animation of the letters in the word Edge getting kicked around by the Adobe logo. Once interactivity, symbols, and scripting got added to the application in early 2012, Edge moved into the realm of infographics. In this example, Edge was used to show mobile market share. As well, this demonstration project shows that Edge can be used for games. With the addition of the ability to insert animate projects into EPUB and DPS projects, an even higher degree of interactivity and motion can be added to publications. In this example, the monthly magazine Appliness features an interactive button and cover animation created in Animate. As you can see, Animate, in very short order, has moved from the ability to create simple animations to the ability to create compelling infographics and interactive experiences in digital publications. So you flip the switch, and suddenly an animation shows up that's all created in Animate, and it turns out to be Eric Meyer, super Eric defender of all that is CSS. Notice the moving cape and the little glows that are moving up and down. And yeah, baby, this is all done in Animate and adds a whole new dimension to what we can do with motion graphics tools. The evolution of Animate from its introduction to the release you are using today has been astonishing. Adobe has listened to the users and improves the application based on their input. At the same time, users push the application into uses not even envisioned by the Animate team. Where is all this leading? Who knows? 
That's what makes Animate so much fun to explore. As I like to say, the amount of fun you can have with this application should be illegal.